Hi Leo, welcome to love reading. This is Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It is a general reading guys, so this may or may not resonate with every Leo watching this video. If you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below, okay? This is for Leos in love. What can Leo expect in love? Let's see. What is the current situation for Leos in love? What is the current situation for Leos in love? Okay. What is going on on Leo's mind? For the, with the person that you're dealing with. What is going on in Leo's mind? What is going on on this person's mind that Leo is dealing with? Okay. What does Leo feel for this person? What does Leo feel for this person? What does this person feel for Leo? What does this person feel for Leo? What is the mutual energy between Leo and the person they're dealing with? What is the mutual energy between Leo and the person they're dealing with? What is Leo's attitude or approach towards this person? What is Leo's attitude or approach towards this person that they're dealing with? What is this person's attitude or approach towards Leo? And what is the likely outcome? What is the likely outcome? Give me one card for the likely outcome. Overall energy, Leo, we have is the Four of Swords. So clearly looks like there is no communication between you guys or you guys are on a break right now, okay? You guys aren't talking to each other. The reason could be a breakup, a separation or some kind of ending of a long-term commitment. Or this could just be that your relationship or what's on their mind is that this relationship is not being able to reach that point of stability and security, okay? Maybe this person wants commitment from you and um, that's not happening. Once you're watching, you're spying, looking, you know, keeping tabs on them, okay? With the page of swords here on your mind. <coughs> you're keeping a watch on them, right? Obvious, because you guys aren't talking right now. But yeah, they're, in their mind, it's something huge. For them, the entire stability is has moved right it's just not happening it's just not working out and that's something that's it's like the relationship the ground of your relationship has shaken up it was a very happy loving relationship but all of a sudden there could have been a breakup a shake up okay and something's landed up in um, you guys being separate either this person wants something committed or you know you guys were in a long-term commitment or a marriage but for right now doesn't look like you guys are still together Mutual energy, five of pentacles in reverse here. You both feel left out. You're both very codependent on each other and you both really want to return to each other, okay? On your mind is the six of cups. <coughs> you do see this person as your soulmate or uh, soulmate. It's a very strong soulmate connection here. You do miss them, all right? And you probably even want to get back to them. That's why you're watching them. This person, on the other hand, with the nine of cups in reverse here, they're absolutely unhappy without you. This person is emotionally very, very codependent on you. They're very unhappy without you. They're going through this um, energy of feeling very drained. Okay, they're very drained in the relationship here. 
<clears throat> you do miss this person, okay? Because you feel there's some unfinished business between you and them, okay? You feel a cycle hasn't ended and things have just abruptly stopped or something's just stuck and stagnant and something's just not moving forward, okay? That's your approach here. Their approach is the Queen of Pentacles. So honestly, okay, Leo, this side, okay, whoever this is on this side, okay? I don't want to hear on the comments, oh, that's for me, the, the, the reading is reversed. Fine, let the reading be reversed, okay? Take which side resonates with you. This person out here, okay, 10 of pentacles in reverse, 9 of cups in reverse, and the queen of pentacles. What I can see is that this person out here is definitely very focused on something long term, okay. They want something long term, but right now, since you guys have broken up or since there's some kind of ending between you guys here, okay, which was very stable, okay, something landed up being very insecure or your relationship was on a very shaky ground anyway, so things could have collapsed. It's just making them very unhappy here, very unhappy. You miss them, okay? You miss them. You probably want them back. But you're not as shook as I see them, okay? Because that's the 10, that's the 9, and with the queen here, right? Their approach towards you is stability. I want the commitment. I want something stable. I want something secure. I want something that grows. They want family. They want something um, more long-term, okay? And they're ready to invest into it. That's their goal. That's their approach towards you, you know? Your approach is like, okay, I know things are unfinished, you know, either you're looking for closure, okay, or you're just like, well, something's just not moving forward, you know, like, what the fuck, but well, of course, I see a very big energetic difference between you and them, Leo. <clears throat> you're just wanting to find out, looking at them from a distance while they take a break or while you guys are on a break, okay? But this person here, I feel this person's going through a lot here right now. They really miss you, okay? You do miss them, but one of you is a little codependent on the other person, okay? Could be this person because this person is the Nine of Cups. I feel this person is has abandonment issues also. So when you leave them, for them, it's like, you know, life is over. There is nothing more to this, okay? So that's a little codependent in energy here. I have two cards of that, okay? Where they're very, very dependent on you. And probably you want to take it slow. Not like I'm blaming you. Probably you want to take it slow. Probably you want to take it one step at a time. That's why you you have them on your mind, okay? With the Page of Swords here. You're looking at them, watching. You probably even have a lot of ideas of how to make things forward, okay? But I just feel throughout this spread, I feel you guys are never on the same page or not on the same page. Maybe this person always wanted something committed. They were either told you and you weren't on the same page or you guys were together. But for them, this breakup has been a huge impact, Okay? Um, likely outcome, nine of swords in reverse here. Let's see. Give me two things. Let's start clarifying. What is the four of swords? Why is the four of swords here? Why is the four of swords here? See, like I said, there's been a breakup, a separation between you guys. You guys are not on the same page. Could be trust issues. Okay, could be trust issues for sure. <coughs> you guys... There is a lot of love here, but again, not being able to come together, not looking eye to eye right now. Why? Why the two of cups in reverse? Why the two of cups in reverse? Ah, see fear of commitment. That's always what I said, right? This is a twin flame connection. Two of cups, the lovers here, twin flame, six of cups. Dude, what else do you want me to say? Soulmate, twin flame. That's all the bloody connections you can have. Just that those two cards are in the reverse, which means there's a lack of balance. And not only there's a lack of balance here, along with that, there's one person who's fearing commitment or there's one person here who wants to think about whether they still want to get into a deeper commitment with the opposite person or not, okay? But there's definitely where one person's emotionally more involved than the other person and the other person just feels left out. They just feel like, like, what the hell happened? We were like so happy together. We were in this relationship, you know? It's not affecting you as much as it's affecting them. That's what I'm saying. Now, if this is you, that is them, take it out, it resonates. Why the page of swords? Oh, yeah. Why is the page of swords here? <coughs> Why is the page of swords here? See, four of pentacles in reverse here.
maybe now <clears throat> you're watching this person because now that this person has probably walked away or now that you guys have had a breakup right now you're ready to release something that you were holding on to could be ego could be fear could be trust issues you could be coming off as someone who was always very closed off someone who was very closed off someone who had trust issues someone who wouldn't want to open up someone who didn't want to be vulnerable but now that this person's walking away you're ready to um talk to this person and tell them that you're ready to work on this why is the four of pentacles in reverse why is the four of pentacles in reverse Ten of Cups in reverse because now things have completely gone haywire. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Cups in reverse here. Guys, what the fuck happened? Okay, well, it's affected you too, but it's not like directly affected you. I feel that it's the situation that happened and now you feel the need to open up and now you feel the need to watch and talk to this person and try and, you know, initiate a conversation. But that also with the Page of Swords, you're not even coming up as the king here, okay? You're probably wanting to test the waters and see what is this person up to? Do they want me back? Do they not? I mean, something like that, okay? But this is the reason why you're stalking. is because you, I mean, you were in a very happy, so what I'm getting here is that there is one person here who wanted that stability in that relationship, more committed. And there's one person here, probably you, Leo, who was very happy in this relationship, okay? But you were looking for more of that emotional fulfillment rather than something more secure, rather than something more tangible, rather than having a label on the relationship, okay? So probably this person was okay till you had the Ten of Cups, till you had, you were okay till there was the Ten of Cups, till there was that emotional fulfillment okay within the relationship you make them happy they make you happy okay but the moment this person probably asked you to move on to a step further and make this more committed that's when you copped out why the ten of pentacles in reverse why is this ten of pentacles in reverse on this person's mind why is the ten of pentacles in reverse on this person's mind the devil in reverse. Yeah, so see, they feel something is very toxic. Either there was a third party that was involved between you and this person, okay, who was controlling the relationship, or this is this person thinks that this was a very toxic relationship. <coughs> Maybe there was a lot of toxicity. Maybe there was a lot of ego, uh, ego a lot of anger, a lot of... Um, you know, obsession, addiction, okay? Maybe they were very addicted to you and now after this breakup has happened, they want, they've probably broken up or probably left you go is because they thought there was a lot of toxicity, okay? There was more toxicity in the relationship than happiness or probably it was a negative pattern, okay? That they thought you were repeating over and over again, asking them, you know, probably keeping them in this loop, giving them emotional, um, uh, you know, um, giving them those, uh, emotional baits to keep them in the relationship you know and they finally realized that you know it was just something that was draining them out they probably thought that they could never ever get rid of you and never ever not rid but never ever get over this relationship although it was so toxic but then they tried their best and now they're ready to release that energy although it was some, something that the very stable that they wanted or you had but yeah why what is the devil in reverse what is the devil in reverse? Six of swords, yeah. They probably want to move forward with clarity. I'm getting as this is someone who's just like, you know what, all I want is clarity. Literally, like, they feel like it's like a forced departure. They don't want to let you go, but because they realize that it was very toxic. Again, Leo, this could definitely be you and this could be the other person, okay, whatever. But <clears throat> this was definitely someone who thought they were dealing with someone very, something or someone very toxic. And they're forced to go away, okay? They don't want to see this. She doesn't want to, but it's like the crows, you know, they're like, they're pulling the boat away, you know? I think this person has probably mentally and physically distanced themselves from you or she's, or this person just put a distance between you guys, okay? <clears throat> Tell me what is the six of cups? Why the six of cups? Not like I need to clarify, but why the six of cups here? Six of pentacles. See, that's what I'm saying here, now. You're ready to give in this. You're ready to give that equal give and take. You know, you're ready to make that happen. 
you're ready to balance out this situation okay and you want to get back to this person we have two sixes here <clears throat> ace of pentacles you want a brand new beginning with this person but this time you probably want something very practical very stable something that they wanted all this while and you didn't understand till they didn't walk away what's the six of, why the six of pentacles yeah but you're very confused about it okay seven of cups here i think there's a lot of confusion you don't know which is the right approach to make towards this person okay now that this person has left abruptly or this is just you who just doesn't know which is the right direction okay but the seven of cups is you have a lot of choices i am not looking at this as having options i don't think you have options because if you had options we wouldn't have had the ten of cups here okay I think you're very confused about which is the next best move to make towards this person in order for you to get back to them or in order for you to get them back towards you, okay? You're very overwhelmed with the situation. It's like you're very confused. You don't know what to do. And that's why you're just probably watching, wanting to watch them, you know, from a distance. Rather than just going like the knight of swords and going and confront them, you still want to do your homework and don't want to look like a fool when you approach them. Why is the Nine of Cups in reverse? Why is the Nine of Cups in reverse? Why is the Nine of Cups in reverse? Queen of Swords in reverse. Fuck. You pissed them off. Oh my god, Leo. You pissed them off. They're so emotionally drained. They're so unhappy, so unhappy. For them, it was like a wish that didn't come true. And because of that, they're so pissed off. You're the queen of swords in reverse here. Yeah, well, now I understand why you're the seven of cups. <laughs> they will cut your head the fuck off. Queen of swords in reverse is someone very, very bitter, very vengeful. And seriously, you do want to stay away from them. They're not happy at all. They're not happy at all. You better strategize before you go and approach this person, Leo. Or cross watches. If you're approaching a Leo, dude, you're you're so screwed. Queen of Swords in reverse, that's someone very cruel. And now they're so negative about the situation. You tell them anything that you want to say. It can be anything. Equal give and take. I don't know what. They'll probably slice you into two equal pieces. That's what I mean. <laughs> I'm so scared of the Queen of Swords in reverse. That's a very nasty energy. I mean why the queen of swords in reverse may i dare to ask why the queen of swords in reverse i mean they're very angry on you yeah seven of pentacles they're they're waiting and watching okay dude so let me tell you something they're waiting and watching if you're going to make a move towards them okay but if you're going to go with that lame ass page of swords i don't know what's going to happen okay you need something more something more confident, something, you know, more uh, promising, like the King of Swords or like probably a King of Wands. But yeah, with the King of Swords, that's the kind of energy you want, okay? You can't be that Seven of Cups. Ah, oh, let me think about this. I'm not sure. If you're going to be scared, I don't know how, how long they're going to wait for you to come towards them, okay? But they're definitely waiting, okay? Seven of Pentacles, they're still... Uh, they're still invested into the situation, but they're contemplating, okay? They're still re-evaluating the situation because they put in their hard work, okay? But from the 10, they're going to the 7, so. I don't know how ready they are for that new beginning here because they were putting all their work, they did all their homework, they put in all the work and effort, and now they're going backwards, okay? So now they don't know if it's the right thing to invest any more into you or not. They're already thinking about walking away, probably. <coughs> Why the Five of Pentacles in reverse? Why the Five of Pentacles in reverse? <coughs> Why the Five of Pentacles in reverse? Why the Five of Pentacles in reverse? Queen of Swords, she never goes reverse unless and until she's given a warning and that warning hasn't been taken seriously. I mean, you keep doing the same shit over and over and over again, right? Because she's anyways the Queen of Swords after going through a lot of shit, you know? And now it's like, now she's in the reverse and she's like fed up, fed up. 
why the five of pentacles in reverse you could have this person could have given you a lot of chances you know or you could have given them a lot of chances you know to you know get things moving get the ball rolling but probably you were as usual always confused with the seven of cups <clears throat> why does it always take for one person to walk away in order for the other person to realize i don't know i, I just i don't know why the five of pentacles in reverse ace of pentacles yeah <clears throat> you both want this bad beginning okay one of you definitely wants to but yeah there is a potential of a new beginning here with ace of pentacles that the mutual energy you both want this but the challenge here is that for one person to get out of the cold and make that move i don't see you making a move okay neither in your feelings nor in your um in on your mind why is the world in reverse here why is the world in reverse here see you're not happy to the sun in reverse you're not happy at all you feel you've been left out in the dark here your happiness is completely gone this person made you so happy see that's what i'm saying one person out here was very happy with that emotionally fulfilling relationship but the other person wanted something more concrete okay and that's where the split has happened that's why one person felt that they were always giving emotionally but when it came to their turn about wanting to move things to the next level there was the other person who didn't agree okay of oh, you guys there was just a slack of imbalance here or probably there were too much expectation whatever but yeah <clears throat> with the sun in reverse and the world in reverse yeah there's been something that has been stuck okay which is completely draining you out it's keeping you in the dark you're having a hard time looking at things uh you know optimistically okay you're in a very pessimistic energy right now sun in reverse is also a little immature energy okay so you need to grow up you need to grow up again i I'm, i keep looking at the seven of cups here dude when you have the 10 of cups with someone that's like an happily ever after you cannot go back to being confused about what is the right approach you have the lovers and the two of cups for god's sake you should know what the right approach is unless it's your ego here with the sun here where it's like well okay i mean things will just you know pan out on their own i don't think they will what is the sun in reverse <coughs> what is the sun in reverse ace of swords good i'm glad okay i'm glad that you have the ace of swords on your mind you have that you want that clarity you want to get out of that confusion you you know are wanting to clear the air okay i like your approach there but again i feel that's just an idea ace of swords page of swords ace of swords page of swords that's just an idea right that's just wanting to have clarity but the king of swords is when there's an action going okay and that's something that you're still not doing So yeah, you might want to think about that. <clears throat> queen of Pentacles. What is why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why the Queen of Pentacles? Why the Queen of Pentacles? Oh. <laughs> okay. So, they're not going to talk to you. They're pretty shut down and they're quite stubborn about it we have the ace of cups in reverse here so again this person is more like i want stability i want commitment i want something stable something secure and if you're not about to give it to me fuck it i will give that to myself but when it comes to you they're shut off emotionally they're very disappointed they're very disappointed they saw a lot of potential in this relationship but they are very disappointed with the outcome they are disappointed that things didn't go on the way or move the way that they expected it to that's a lot of sadness and they're very depressed what's the ace of what's the ace of cups in reverse sorry why the ace of cups in reverse tell me why why is the ace of cups in reverse <coughs> why is the ace of cups in reverse pentacles they don't give a fuck they're very very busy working on themselves now <sighs> leo i don't know i just feel i i don't know who i'm talking to leo the crossover but whoever this is right now they're very focused on this <coughs> on 
on their work, their goals, their career. They're working on themselves, focused on themselves, mastering their art, you know, just putting in the hard work in themselves or even trying to numb the pain because they're going through a lot of pain here, okay? So their focus is themselves, anything but the relationship. That's like almost like a workaholic. They've turned into a workaholic because of what is going on. But... Nine of Swords in reverse. Tell me what is the why is the Nine of Swords in reverse here? Is the tension easing up or is it getting worse? Why is the Nine of Swords in reverse here? Give me one card. Why is the Nine of Swords in reverse here? Why is the Nine of Swords in reverse here? Why is the Nine of Swords in reverse here? King of Cups in reverse, yeah. Emotionally unavailable, emotionally shut down, having a hard time opening up. King of Cups in reverse, someone's lost their balance here, okay? Someone's emotionally unbalanced and now someone has trust issues. And I'm assuming it's this person here. This person is not going to open up to you, Leo. If, if you want them to open up, they're not going to open up to you, for sure. You're going to be the one who's going to have to put in all the fucking work here. Why the King of Cups in reverse? Yeah, they don't trust you anymore. Why the King of Cups in reverse? They're having a hard time trusting their intuition that things can, can be okay. They're having a hard time trusting their intuition and having a hard time being a more compassionate partner out here because they're just very angry right now. <coughs> Even manipulative. Maybe this is an a ma emotional manipulative technique, okay? What's the king? Why the King of Cups in reverse? Why is the King of Cups in reverse? Why is the King of Cups in reverse here? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. I think this person has put in enough of their work. <clears throat> There's manipulation here for sure, okay? But not in a bad way, in a way because there's one person who's very hurt here. I think they've put in all the work here. Maybe they were very slow moving towards you. Okay, but with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse here, things are completely at a halt st standstill here, okay? They're, they're reaching a burnout here. They have like this imbalance of work and life, okay? That work life and... Uh, um, th there's just an imbalance here, okay? I think this person has now completely gone within themselves and now they're working on their own goals here. And when it comes to opening up to you emotionally, they're not ready to open up. They're not, Okay? So you're going to probably have to do the work, whoever this is for, okay? Something drastic is going to be needed in order for you to get them, you know, uh, focusing on you. Till then, they're going to be shut off. Yeah, they're very focused on themselves. Emotionally unexpressive, shut down, and they don't trust you. So yeah, I guess like the anxiety, uh, I, I think they're, they're probably stressed. They were stressing a lot about this, but I think they're no more stressing about it because... <clears throat> Two things, either you are over stressing this, okay, your anxieties are going to be very, very, it's just going to be reaching the peak or they're not ready to give you that priority, you're not on that priority list anymore. Just take it how it resonates, okay. So that's your reading, Leo. I hope this reading resonates. Leave your comments below and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.